on their own, pieces of a day seem ordinary. A trip to Target, not something that stands out. To me, like going to Target is normal. But this trip. This is our Target, so <laughs> we're excited. On this day. Yeah, so it's been nine months. It comes with unexpected emotion. Sorry, I'm just, <laughs> it just, it's, it was an amazing experience walking in and seeing those pictures. This is what happened when they had that fire. Do you remember that fire? That fire, the Marshall Fire, that killed two people and destroyed nearly a thousand homes. And like, look at that, look at all the aisles. It turned this Target in Superior into a total loss. You know what? I bet people were shopping and then they had to run away and leave their cart. Eight months later, in the neighborhoods around the Target, the burned debris has been replaced with construction vehicles. So we didn't lose our home, but the one next door to us burned down, the one behind us burned down. Each day, there's a new piece of recovery. You see that construction truck up there? Oh. The Target reopening is one of those pieces. But I like the changes a lot. This trip brings joy. Her excitement when we were walking up was almost at the Disneyland almost, level. Almost so there. Was, this day brings grief. And I've seen so many other people crying. And I think the same thing. It, it, it hits you when you walk in. It just hits you, you know, what our community's been through. All of the pieces bring Superior and Louisville closer to an ordinary day. To me, it represents closure, healing, um, and normalcy.